problem 18. An urn contains one red ball and one blue ball, which is a fancy way of saying we have a box and we have one red and one blue to start out with. A box of extra red ball and blue balls are nearby, and basically George performs the following operation. He picks a ball from the urn, and whatever color that is, he picks one extra ball of the same color and puts it back into the urn. We're trying to find a probability that the urn contains three balls of each color after he does this for four times. Well, to understand this, we have to first understand what the goal is. The goal, right, is pretty obvious. In the urn or the box, we want three reds and we want three blues. But the problem is, is that to find the probability of this happening, there's different combinations of this goal that all satisfy the same criteria. For instance, we have red, 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 blue, 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 right? And what I mean by this is that for the first pick, he chooses red, then it's another red, then it's another red, and then blue, blue, blue. But, so that's the idea here, right? But then what, what are other combinations that work? Well, consider this, right? The, the urn already contains one red ball, so in essence, and one blue ball. So in essence, we actually only need to choose four. We only need to choose four balls because we already have two balls to start out with. But in total, we would have six, but we only have to choose four. So let's only consider the, ch the choices that he, the number of possible choice combinations that he has, which is he chooses a red ball first, then another red ball, then a blue ball, then a blue ball, in this order, in this specific order. But then again, it doesn't have to be like this, right? He could do it like this. He could choose, for example, he could choose red, 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 and then this could be blue, blue. That would be another valid combination. And then we can also do red, red, right? And then we can do blue, blue. And since we have arranged R in every single, or not every single, we have one more, right? We could do red, red here, or we could do red, red here. So then this would be blue, blue, and then blue, blue. So we have first this, that, and then they're all separate. So then we have one more case. We have one more, which is uh, red, red here, and then we have blue, blue here. All right, now that should have accounted for every single combination of these picks. So with this, we can now solve the question, because if we can find the probability of each of them happening, then we can multiply it by 2 to get the reverse. So let's do this, right? Let's first consider this case, or there's actually a bunch of symmetry within this question, which is this probability, right, and this probability are the same. So by symmetry, right, red, red, blue, blue is the same as blue, blue, red, red. So how many ways can I choose two reds and then two blues? Well, if I want to choose the first red, I have half a probability. Why is that? Because I start out with two balls. There's a half chance I pick the red. So I have half. Now that I have chosen the red ball, I place it back into here. How many ways are there now to choose the second red ball? Well, now there's two over three, because I have two reds and three total. So two over three, and you see where this is going. Blue, right, would now be one over three, right? And then I'll have placed the blue ball in, right? Uh, I have, no, 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 I have... After I place that, I should have, I already placed two reds, so this should be one over four. And then I place the blue ball in, and now this would be two over five, right? So now you multiply this together, that would equal, uh, that would equal one over 30. But then this is the same thing, so times two, we get one over 15. That is our first probability of these two cases happening. Now let's consider the next probability, which is we consider this one, and we consider this one. These two share the same probability because we just simply rearranged where the blue and red occupy. So what is the probability of these two happening? Well, now reset, reset the urn. We have a red and a blue, right? The first ball I pick is a red, which has to be one over two. So then I put one red ball in, but now it has to be a blue, which is going to be one over three. So now I have one blue ball in. And now what is the next probability for the red? Well, that'll be one over two, because there's two, two reds in out of four. And then we place the red ball in. So now how many blues are there? There's two and there's five total. So now this becomes two over five, which means this becomes one over 30 as well. But you have to multiply by two, because again, we have two of these cases, which is one over 15. So now we have one, two cases done. We can now consider these two cases, which is going to be the same thing as one over 30, one over 30, multiply together one over 15. So now we have to pause here and consider if we have all the cases considered. Well, in this case, right, we can see that all cases are considered because these are all the total combinations for how we can choose the four additional balls that we want to add to the urn. Therefore, this is casework, right? There's the probability, it could be this or this or this or this or statements and probability are adding. So we have to add one over 15 three times, which becomes one over 15 times three, which is one over five. So your final answer would be answer choice B.